happening uh, because of um, the journey we're into. And um, But I must try as much as I can to make sure that I play the voice of Mazen Namde Kano as um, a preamble before we start. Uh, this is the voice that I'm playing and um, maybe it's not coming out um, from the system, but I have to play it from this way. And I hope, I hope it will come out now because um, some of you may not know that um, Mazen Namde Kano on his own have tried several times to join and make Nigeria work in the past. That is why sometimes, I hope my voice is also coming as well. I hope my voice, my voice is coming out as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the voice is okay, Meto. It's okay now. It's coming out. My voice is coming out. I was I was thinking, let me, let me check whether... Because it's a little bit slow here. Uh, the message must be preached uh the message must be preached um the voice is not really coming out the way i wanted but uh, i must be preached it must be preached we must continue um before i go into that uh before i go into that let me let me bring um a particular broadcast uh because um sometimes our people may not know that before we start this journey we have tried what them themselves have tried in the past. We tried Mazen Namdekano, even went uh, for a protest in UK, joining Nigerian to protest about the killing and um, you know the injustice they meted against us. And um, he found out that it, it didn't work. And um, what he has to do is to is to join and um, you know. Uh, to revitalize and at the same time to fight for the freedom of his people. Uh, this is the reason why we are at this stage. Uh, but meanwhile, those that are on the enclave of Biafra is people we are about to talk this evening. Sometimes this job is not easy, only us. We need our youth to know what is transpired. And I see on the internet people are fighting each other a Boeing state to do this, Emo state is this, Anambra, Enugu, this. Uh, they don't know that those things they used to classify themselves are handwork of Fulani. Those are they are crying that they are keeping it all down. We are going to see step by step, which I know many of you know already, how you will become an Emo state man. How you become an Enugu state man. How you become an Abia state person. How you become an Ebony, Ebonyan. We call it Ebony. I'm Imolite. I'm an Abias. I'm an Abrerian. Nonsense. It is called divide and rule. It's only IPOB that know all those things. And that is why IPOB life is under threat. By any means. Because their job is not just to get the app. Their job is to wake people up. To face reality their job is to confront issues for people to understand what is going on in the environment that is why today they don't carry eyes to see ipo it is it's a very sad news that some of our youth who pass through a quack educational system in nigeria 
some of you may think you are intelligent until you travel out to study. There's an element of smartness in you, but when you find yourself in that environment, it will bring it down. You'll be more or less an idiotic moron who doesn't know his left from his right. Some people claim they study at home. I study psychology. Some of them study history. You know, in Nigeria, they don't study history of their own place. They study the history of other people. They study the history of Senegalese. And when they want to study history, they add it international relations. You can hear them. I study history and international relations. Call that young man who study history to come and tell you the history of his own place. They don't know. Because it was banned from time immemorial. Not to talk about Nigeria. That is why right today some of them don't know how they become a Nigerian. The same way is applicable to our people. Who doesn't know how they become an Ambra person? How they become Imo person? How they become a Nugu person? How they become Abia? Today they are using it to define who is who in our land. And people that are doing this are the youth. Because there's no job in Nigeria. They are now, Facebook, Mark Tokabek, created a means of livelihood for them. And they are using that, their means of livelihood, to destroy their place. They call themselves content club. In every family in Igbo land today, you have a blogger. It may be, it doesn't matter, you don't need any certificate, you don't need any... You don't need any any prior knowledge. You don't need any prerequisite. Once you have your phone, you have internet access. That's all. Whatever you speak, people must clap for you. Whatever nonsense you bring out, people will go by it. That is why we are going to see how you become an emo statement. But meanwhile. I don't know why this voice is not coming out. I don't know why this voice is not coming out. Um, let me see. Uh, because this is a voice of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Um, I think I have to play it from this side. Uh, because Mazen Nam the Kano. Um, it's the voice destroy the evil spirits in our midst. The man has been preaching love. His message is all about how to come together. It's a very deadly message to the enemy. A deadly message of bringing us together. It's not easy. Because this is what has been keeping us apart for many years. Not to know who you are. We ended up praising those that are killing us. So, this is why our brother said the voice is okay, Meto. No, I'm, I'm talking about the voice of Mazen Namdeka, not my voice. Let me try it again. I think if the voice is coming out, you let me know, but I don't think it's coming out. No, it's not coming out. My voice is coming out, but the voice of Mazen Namdekan is not coming out. Um, but I'm gonna play it from this gadget. Very, very important. I'm gonna play it from this gadget. We are very prepared for this because sometimes sometimes we have um uh but meanwhile, meanwhile, let me bring from this side. Uh let me bring it from this side. Yes, I am very sure of that. Let me bring it for this side so that we can be able to uh, follow up this. And then why wait for... Um, just hold on. Uh, just hold on for a couple of minutes. I, I will also want to have many of you on the screen as time goes on. Uh, this is Mazen Nam, the colonel, trying to 
trying to agitate for a betterment of Nigeria as of then. Before he convinced himself and said, no, from all the ramification, every you know, sometimes it's good to try. Because I know had he been he didn't try, people will be telling him Oga. At least he would have given Nigeria a chance to know whether Nigeria will work. This is it. Uh, let us just confirm also that the voice is coming out. Uh, from here today is to protest the killing of innocent women and children. I'm a black all over Nigeria, especially in northern part of Nigeria. We are not happy, we are not pleased with what is happening, and that is why we are here today. As you can see, there are a lot of Nigerians um, who are protesting about the killing of families, people who are determined to tear the country apart, violently, and it is not something that we support. It is just something that we would like to see continue, and we are here today to send a clear message to the Nigerian government, to the High Commissioner, that what is happening in the country is unacceptable, and we cannot accept it. If that continues, it will lead to the violent situation of the country. There will be no more Nigeria for anyone to go to. There will be no Nigeria for anyone to refer to. In fact, what is happening in Somalia today will be like a petit pass. So we cannot allow this nonsense to continue. Something has to be done. And the consequences of the actions of terrorism in Nigeria must be driven home to the people. So that even the terrorists themselves will be able to understand that there is no money to judge a government. The only thing they can accomplish is the breakup of Nigeria. If they think that they can power people, if they think they can force people to be, to be coerced into a religion which is not theirs, then they are clearly mistaken. We are asking for peace, we are asking for people to work together, we are asking for everybody who loves Nigeria, who is associated with that country, to please prevail upon terrorism in Nigeria so we can bring it to an end. That is why the most of Nigerians are dying here today. Those of us in the UK are determined to work with the government for peace. We are determined to work with the national government for peace. But one thing we cannot stomach is a repeat of 1966. What is happening today in Nigeria was... Did you hear him? He's preaching about how to restore peace. But today, some of you have given it a, a blind eye. You are not seeing it. We have tried for your Nigeria to see if it can work. What is playing out now is almost the same thing that happened during the time of Ojuku. He went, he came. This is a protest, Nigerian protest. You know, Nigeria loves continue doing the same thing over and over again. This is when he was agitating for betterment of that area. Because his interest is to see that our place is viable. <laughs> and that is why on the meeting they had in Enugu when they asked him young man what do you want he didn't say he want to be Afro he never opened him and say I need be Afro because he knew that there's something that will be present in our land automatically the freedom is there you know sometimes some of you who are not really smart in um you know, putting one or two to understand the journey we are in. You want somebody to tell you that he's looking for Biafra before you can be able to support him. If somebody is doing something that can bring development in our land, we support them. And that is why IPOB has been agitating for those in Lagos to return back home to establish their business at home. But we are doing it, campaigning for it, because we know that this is what is going to yield what we are looking for. But guess what? Infiltrate or they came. They begin to do sit at home one week two weeks one month by force not to allow those to come back home to establish in our land and this is what we are going to listen i think this is um this voice is uh, the noise is um, the background of the noise because of the protests is always um, not really uh, the reason why nigeria fought a bitter civil war for three years between 67 and 1970 if this continues there will be another civil war in nigeria and this time around no place will be safe in nigeria this time around nobody will be safe in nigeria so it is imperative that everybody who has the interest of the country at heart acts now and immediately to stop this nonsense from continuing Um, did you hear it? This is one he was lamented about what is going on.
And today, nobody is, uh, everybody is seeing him as a, an anti... They see him as a hater of a progress. They say they don't want their country to move on. Nam the Khan is here to destroy our country. Nam the Khan don't want to, our country to move on. Nam the Khan is not supporting our one Nigeria. This is why he was on protest. Now, when he went to Enugu, they asked him, what do you want? He's not, he didn't say, give me, I know if it's many of you, we say, give me governorship slot. Uh, give me and my family slot. We, we deserve better. Uh, we have suffered. Uh, because, uh, you know, my mother and my father, uh, they have perished in this. So give me like a, let me let me manage an eternal appointment and my brothers give them some appointment and he's very smart in what he's demanding but those of you who may not understand him will say naga i thought we were looking for biafra instead of you to go there and tell them that you're looking for biafra you said that they, they should give you this and that what is the biafra we are pursuing now pay attention to this um this is the time uh he went there everything that i do let's go let's go here uh let's go here uh something is there really but we must continue we must try to make it work Yes. Now, this is the question they ask him, which many of you must have heard. What do you want? He didn't say, give me Biafra. But we know that what he's looking for is Biafra. If our place are viable, if our place are moving on, our environment are clean, there's a job opportunities, there's infrastructure. We, what are you looking for? Is it not a better life? No maltreatment, no segregation. People are being respected. No intrude in our land. By that time, our development will be waxing. We will now begin to tell ourselves, you know, that we have arrived and begin to see things. Free medical care. Free access to education. Just like we have been. That's what he told them. And he made, that is why I said, the people that are supposed to carry this struggle in their head, they are called traders. Traders are the ones that are supposed to carry the struggle. Because they always come on for the access to sea. So they can see how they ship their goods, bring their goods. At least when you have a seaport closer to you, you can see that the, the price of things will become low. You will not be transporting yourself to Lagos and coming back because in the name of her, you want to go and clear your goods. Some of you died on the road through motor accident, through Boko Haram, through his men, through the checkpoint, the army mounted on the road. If all those things are closer to you, it will reduce the rate of death in our land. But this is what many of you did. Uh, let me see if Just I have it. criminals. Just criminals. What do you expect them to do? What do you want them to do? What do you expect of them? That is why our people must be sensible. Our people must be reasonable. If you believe in what we are doing, if you believe that Chukwa Biyama is God, then by all means, do what is necessary. By all means, do what is right. And in everything that you do, every blessed day, ensure that you acknowledge the supremacy of the Most High God, Chukwam Biam. So you know it. And what is my crime? I had a meeting with all the governors of the Southeast. And the day I was having this meeting, this same man who was accosted in Nuremberg was upstairs listening to our conversation. Some of you don't even know what transpired when I attended that very meeting with the governors in the company of Professor Ben Wabez and Evangelist Elio Tuko. They are my witness. They are there. What did I ask for? Do you know what I asked for? Come on, Second Niger Bridge. 
to build on a Shainugu road, build the water in Ugu road, to open Wari Seaport, open the water seaport, open Calabar Seaport, open Calabar Airport, open um, um, make Enugu more viable. That's all I ask for. And I'll leave the election boycott. That's all. I don't even ask them to give me Biafra. Do you know these people could not take this to Asorok? Because they were terrified. To bring infrastructure, to bring development to their own people, they were frightened of the Fulani he goat in Asorok. Which is, of course, Abakiyari, because then uh, Buhari was dead and Jubri had come in. Now you understand it very clearly? Ask them, did I ask for Biafra? To warrant sending the army to come and kill me. I asked for employment opportunities for those who are unemployed. For the theming graduates we have who cannot find work. Go on there, our leader. Go on there. You hear what he said? Now, let us put the Director of State in the shoe of Mazen Namikhan. Just assuming that the Director of State we are called and said, please, what do you people need? And they said all these things without mentioning, give us beer. You know, they will be saboteur. You know, the autopilot infiltrators, the, the chief baboon, the deceivers, the bumbling gullible species we have among us. They will tag them betrayers, saboteur, because they didn't hear Piafra in their mouth. You know, the way they reason, they reason, they don't think. They, they reason like a car that a gongoro that fell bread from Ugo House. Because that's something you are looking for. Yes, we are looking for Biafra. What is Biafra to you? And this is why I'm going to press a link. Because it has been a long time they've been asking this question. I will open a link and you come in on the screen. What is Biafra to you? I do see many of you, you know. Me, conjuring up memories i will sleep in nigeria wake up in there biafra is coming now what is it? you think it's just a flag independent is it what you are looking for and that's why sometimes when we begin to correct some things that are going wrong in this struggle some of you now begin to pro, pro, postpone it must leave it when biafra come and you now begin to talk about it before i open my link i send my link for for joining me for a discussion. I want to give advice to some of our gullible youth who are at home. I understand that some of you are frustrated. It's not our making. Some of us are frustrated like you, but we channel our energy in a positive direction that can be able to use the result. What you people did was to double into Facebook bloggers. Even when you people are eating, you put it on social media. When your wife is giving birth in the hospital, you position the camera to the private part of your woman because you need followers. And people will follow you. When you are fighting, you put it. Some of you also and derive joy in pranking old women who are frustratedly walking on the street. Too much stress is disturbing them. You see a young, frustrated youth of Nigerian citizen. You go and uh, do prank to the woman. Maybe start running. Start running, looking up and be running. So that you want people to laugh and make you make your money. Probably the woman might run and develop high blood pressure. Everything for you people is joke. I'm going to show you some of the examples. The one that is running them now is uh, I'm from Ebo. Ebo people have been suffering marginalization in Ibo land. Uh, Anambra people, they feel they feel too big. Ibo state people and their arrogance. They are they are criminals. Enugu people. They are always segregated. I hate them because of the brag a lot. 
They are saboteurs during the war. They say they sabotage. The people that are speaking this is are called, assuming they are called themselves, uh, let us say, supposedly graduates. And that is to tell you that the educational system brought in our land make us to be more daft and gullible. And that's why we want to look up how we become this Adam Brahman this night. And let me tell you how they make their money. For, for, for the clarification purposes, Metisla page is not monetized yet. A lot of them have put much in this thing that are going on. They don't want to make peace. They want something that will keep on going. The issue of obedience has come and gone. No reaction to that. No lesson learned. No, you know, regret to do it better or to start preaching about what they encounter during the election period. No, they have shut their mouth. They double into Biafra issue. They have seen that there's no way there because I quit really quit. They have tried all they could to double into what we are doing to promote. There are many of them are the one promoting sit at home. They sit at home, the criminals and their agents are putting. Nobody's hearing their voice. But now, the, the, the bloggers at home, the content creators, the jobless species, they amplify it. Sit at home now. They, they, he said, I will be sit at home. Let everybody sit at home. They are doing it. They are found out that there's no road outside. They are now doubling into fighting each other. One will come and tell you, I want to advise, I want to advise you people now. This thing that is going on, let me put Matt there. The Matt he's putting, he is talking about to get viewers. Hannah Choiban and we control us. And I don't want to blame them hundred percent. But I'm blaming the ignorance that is championing their life. And anytime there's a saga between Ibo and Ugo and Ambra, all those ones, ah, people double into it. You will see beneath people will rise up. Yes. They will be on the comment section hailing you. Say yes. There are number of people are arrogant. I get one I get from my yard. Now so in the misbehave. And I get one. I they live for Italy. One of my roommates, Nana Brahman. Very foolish people. I tell many of you, and I will repeat it again. We have a long way to go. We have a long this generation is not going to get it right. What we are laying now is a foundation. What we are laying now is a foundation. These people have been, I don't know how to quantify them. They are not in the struggle. Is that they are doing NG to enrich their pocket? Their job is to be praying. Let me get a message so that somebody is sick. Hey, get one where they want sick man now. Uh, he needs surgery. They will come and present themselves as a as a messiah of Igbo nation. They will come out and begin to uh, sort for fun. Not their money because they are jobless. They have no job. No job, no source of income. Apart from saga that will give them viewer and to make their money. They will position themselves as a messiah. They will contribute money. You, you, then ask me, the person you are giving the money, as who? So all of us, if all of us will join that trend, everybody, all of us will come out now, we have internet access. All I have to do is to be sending people at home to go and begin to look for people that are sick. And then I bring them here and I'll be begging money for everybody to pay. Instead of you to channel your energy in the core issue that is disturbing our people. What we need is for everybody to fetch for themselves. That is what IPOB stands for. When you hear that we need a better life, so that you, you, and your household, and that man that is sick, that you want to go and bring, to make money on social media, they will, they will sort for themselves. Just like here, we are. There's a job opportunities. I said that there's a job opportunities everywhere here. Even individuals are posting job that they need people to come and work for them. Individuals. And this is how it's supposed to be in Biafra land. You create a job and employ people and help the government. Because that's the environment is working. But in your own case, no, no road. Some of you are planning how to sell your land and run away. Now, listen to this. 
Uh, I think Amazon Nam the kind I don't know whether you have um passed the message. Anyway, that's what I asked for. They have the papers. Go and ask them. When you met Nam the Kano in a new in Ifa Ugwani's um, conference um, um 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 room, did he ask for Biafra? The answer is no. I asked for very common. I said, go and bring something for our people. Our people. But all they cared about was their family and their clothes. Do you think we have two thousand naira the charge card? Not going you. Not social media. IPOB was busy dying to make your lives better. That's all we have been doing. And today, as I speak, this very night, Enugu Airport will be closed down. Has Moda complained? No. Do you know why? They want us to fly through Lagos, fly through Abuja, and every flight comes in in the evening. So you lodge in a hotel. You improve the economy of the West and of the North. But we have no airport anymore. Some of you don't know this. It's all been lost in the hoo-ha about Nuremberg. And it's quite interesting that Nuremberg was where all the evil men were tried under Nazi or during the Nazi regime after the Second World War. It's a very, you know, um, it's kind of very poignant, isn't it? That's, that's where this very mass resistance started from. I expect Europe has to do the same thing to their corrupt politicians. And the Middle Belt the same. Fulani is gone. They, are, they have Alamajri culture. They are a feudal system. They run a feudal system that they are impervious to reason. They can never reason. From now to the kingdom come. Fulani youths can never attack their so-called um, uh, Rankadede, whatever they call them. But I'm sure Yorubas can. They should also do the same thing. Because the USA you love so much, America and uh, Britain and uh, Germany, they love to go and eat yam. There are people revolted against corrupt politicians. Go and read your history books. They're all there. But all you're interested in is, um, is um, social media, what you can write. The gay, they, they stood shorty for him, get him there. Did I commit any crime? They don't, know. They, don't, they don't understand. Now, listen again. Everything I read out, I ask you to Google. You're asking me why I'm angry. You're asking IPUB, why are you people angry? Why are you upset? And now, today, you know why we're upset. You will know why we're upset. Here's another one. Pro Donald Trump rally in Nigeria leaves 20 dead, many missing. What was our crime? Alema Juris, the Fulani people, we are demonstrating against Trump in Lagos and in Abuja. We assembled in Igbocha in Port Harcourt to celebrate Trump. They did not kill those who were against Trump in Abuja and Lagos. They came to watch and killed over 20 of us. And you're asking me why I'm angry. Now you understand it, don't you? The funniest thing is that the American ambassador did not even tell the State House what happened. You know what they said? There was a clash. There was a clash. Well, I'm there, our leader. That is when I, I laughed to some of you. When they when the infiltrators the the chief infiltrators told many of you that uh, he's now a campaign manager of trump and i know that many of you that doubling to that have never joined this struggle for a long time we were slaughtered because we were celebrating trump with the american flag you hear what he said even as the trump entered into office did you do anything about it have you ever he, let us be sincere. Forget about all these uh, concocted stories. I'm not into fake news. Have you seen him stand up and address the people of Biafra? Or do you think that we don't have even people who can reach out to him? Our people. Our people are very foolish in America. The people that are in the corridors of power in America are very foolish. Anybody that uh, the Western are praising, run away from that person. He's not a good person. And that is why we have a lot of them ranging from Okunji world to all the rest. The one they call her who saw who saw herself miraculously at a tender age. You call her Chemamanda Aditya. 
What is he doing? What is he doing? Like our leader said, when you see somebody preaching about Nigeria and you call him a learned person, he's a, he's a, he's a bumbling moron. Anytime you engage them, you are going to shock them by asking them, Oga, how do you become a Nigerian? Just like our brother today, Okija man also, ask one full in his page. How do we become a Nigerian? He says through Queen Elizabeth. You know, you ask him, who named you Nigerian? Who give you that name? He says Queen Elizabeth. So some of our people, even in the Biafra land, don't know what is going on. Now, for the bloggers, I have a news for you. I have a news for you. Our, our race are the worst race ever I have met. Igbo people. Even the matured man, a matured man you will see of age, of say 40 something years, our blogger, get a cock on our social media, jargons. And let me put my mouth now. I want to put my mouth on what this saga that is going on. I want to put mouth. Native doctor has become special advisor. Native doctor now have become motivational speakers on Facebook. They are no more, they don't have power anymore. Because our honor have all, we don't grab them. Go to the city doctor now. They are the, the one they call a mini you know, on your advice. That's a have power. So, how are they advice? Can we deceive all of you? Say they are good people. I said, all of them, I've said it in my platform many times. All of them, they were claiming before for kids and power. Some water of Ige Boutique. Somebody will come all the way from Thailand, the Philippines, Malaysia. We carry a car. You know, Igbo people and car. They love, to, they love noise. They love noise. Now, let me show you this. And I hope they will come across this video. Chineke that walk. Foolish people. Uno mena a blogger. Uno blogger news. Uh, just um, this is how you become an Anambra man. This we are going to watch now is a recap on how you become an Imo state man, how you become an Eboi man, how you become an Anambra, how you become an Abia state man. That you are now using what a full animal created to define who is your brother. That's why we told many of you to join this struggle. Don't worry, I will put the link. Hold on, I will put the link. Now pay attention to this. In this edition of Back in History, we bring to you a comprehensive history of the creation of states in Nigeria. Nigeria is currently made up of 36 states plus the Federal Capital Territory, whose status is the same with that of its states. How were these states created? Who created them? When were they created and for what purpose? These and many more are the questions addressed in this video. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. When the British colonial administrators arrived in Nigeria, they divided the country into two protectorates, the Southern Protectorate and the Northern Protectorate. Later in 1914, the two protectorates were fused together through the process of amalgamation. At that time, Frederick Lord Lugard was the Governor General of Nigeria, representing the interest of the British Crown. In 1949, the country was divided into three regions, namely the Eastern Region, the Northern Region, and the Western Region. In other words, the three regions were created by the colonial administrators. In these three regions, there were several minority ethnic groups. These groups would later agitate for recognition as states. The regional arrangement continued up to the time of independence in 1960. In 1963, a fourth region was created and named the Midwestern Region. This region was carved out from the western region of the country. In essence, as of 1963, Nigeria was basically divided into four regions, namely 
the eastern region, the northern region, the western region, and the midwestern region. In 1966, Nigeria had its first military coup. This coup was bloody. The coup was led by Major Chukuma Kaduna Nzeugu. Several persons were killed, including the premiers of two of the regions and the then Prime Minister of Nigeria, Alaji Tafawa Balewa. Nzeugu could not, however, take over the reins of power as his coup was frustrated and crushed by soldiers who were opposed to the coup. The country was then handed over to the most senior military officer at the time, General Aguye Ironsi. Ironsi was in office for less than six months and could barely do much before he was assassinated in the counter-coup of July 1966. Ironsi did not create any new region or state for Nigeria. Following the assassination of Ironsi, Yakubu Gawan was sworn in as a new military head of state of Nigeria. What Gowon did was to dissolve the four regions and replace them with states. He was thus the first person to create states in Nigeria. He created a total of 12 states, namely Kano State, Kwara State, Lagos State, River State, East Central State, Benue Plateau State, Midwestern State, Northeastern State, North Central State, Northwestern State, Western State, and the Southeastern State. These states were created on 5th May 1967. In 1975, Gawan was overthrown in a bloodless military coup. Gawan was in faraway Kampala in Uganda, attending the summit of the Organization of African Unity, OAU at the time, when he was overthrown through a radio announcement by Colonel Joseph Gaba, who was Gawan's commander of the Brigade of Guards. He was advised not to return home from Uganda. A new military head of state was then announced and his name was Motala Ramat Mohammed. On taking over as head of state, Motala Mohammed effected some changes in the country, one of which was the creation of additional states in 1976. He created seven states, thereby bringing the total number of states in the country to 19. The seven states were as follows, Anambra, Bauchi, Benue, Imo, Niger, Ogun, and Ondo states. Motala was shortly thereafter assassinated by Lieutenant Colonel Bukasuka Dimka, and Motala was succeeded by his deputy, Olushegun Obasanjo. Obasanjo did not create new states, and throughout his tenure, Nigeria still retained the 19 states. Obasanjo handed over power to an elected president, Alaji Shehu Shagari, in 1979. Shagari was in office for four years and was overthrown in 1983 in a military coup. Shagari did not create any new state during his tenure. The person who took over from Shagari was Major General Muhammad Buhari. He ruled from 1983 to 1985 when he was overthrown in a military coup by General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida. Just like Kubasinjo and Shagari, Buhari did not create any new states for Nigeria. When you trading masters, then can you damage your complete life? Hold on, hold on. Also, trading is. Two years into Babangida's administration, the process of state creation was reactivated. He started with the creation of two new states in 1987, namely Akwaibom and Katsina thus making the total number of states in Nigeria to increase to 21. Four years after, precisely in 1991, Babangida created nine additional states, namely Abia, Enugu, Delta, Jigawa, Kebi, Oshun, 
Kogi, Taraba, and Yobe states. The number of states thus increased to 30. Babangida stepped aside in 1993 and was succeeded by Ernest Shenekon, who served as interim president of Nigeria. Ernest Shenekon was in office for less than a hundred days and could barely achieve anything within the time. He did not create any new states. He was overthrown in a military coup by General Sane Abacha. Abacha reactivated the creation of states and in October 1, 1996, he created six more states for the country. The states were Eboyi, which was carved out of Abia and Enugu states, Bayelsa, which was carved out of River states, Nasarawa, which was carved out from Plateau states, Gombe, which was carved out from Bauchi states, Ikiti, which was carved out from Ondo states, and lastly, Zamfara states, which was carved out of Sokoto states. With Abacha's creation of six new states, the total number of states thus increased to 36. Abacha died in office in 1998 and was succeeded by General Abdul Salami Abubakar. Abubakar ruled for one year and handed over power to an elected president in the person of Olusha Gunobasanjo. Abubakar did not create new states. Nigeria has been governed by civilian presidents since 1999 up to the time of the making of this video. And none of the civilian presidents has created new states till date, despite increased agitation from several ethnic groups in the country. In summary, the 36 states of Nigeria were all created by the military, beginning with Yakub Gawon who created 12 states, Tomotala Mohammed who created 7 states, to Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida who created two states and later created nine more. Bacha was the last to create states in Nigeria with the creation of six states. Hold well, on there, hold well, on there. Um, these are just a recap of um, how you become an Enugu man, a boy man, uh, Abia, I'm an Abrelian. That is why when we speak, some people who don't understand where we come from will think we are arrogant. But because of the the idiocy come with order, unpleasant order from our people. Hey, do Facebook. Hey, do Facebook. Oh, how I came up social media. From the names you've listened to now, did you hear any name from your village that created your village for you? Just from the names ranging from Yakubu Gowon, who created 12 states. Yakubu Gowon, where is he from? Is he from your place? Is any of this, all this, all these morons that are making noise on social media that refuse to queue in to enlighten our people what they are facing? From there, Murita Mohammed came, created his own seven states. Murita Mohammed, that's it. Does the name sound like your brother from your community? A, a, a foreigner will come. Label you give you divide divine boundary for you. This one is just a, a second class creation of Nigeria because after the British came, did their own at least now they saw their first class citizens supposed to create their own. The British came, created Nigeria, then handed over to first class citizens called the Fulanese. They came and draw boundary for you, and now you are using that boundary to fight your own people. Babangida, two states. And after that, he created more nine states, total 11 states. Abacha, six states. Just check all these people. It's very sad. Let me show you, you know, sometimes, let it not be as if we are here to uh, create um, a pandemonium. Sometimes, uh, in this platform, we call it facing reality. The problem is, the problem is not once, it's not twice, with all of them. Now, Look at our brother. Look at what our brother is sharing. And then you know, I'm all hagro, gro, gro. Hell, I know where viewers. Now, hey, just have your friends struggle. Hey, just have your friends struggle. Look where I'm going to post. That's on here. Oh, no, we go. Look where. This is his post. Look where post there. Look where. Look where. Okay, go post it today. Give me code there. Let me see what he wrote. What he wrote. 
Uh, wife material is hard to find these days. Our kitchen, our cookies. Oh no, we. You know my problem with these people. Let me let me tell you my problem with these people. My problem is not. I have no business with what they're doing. I don't have a business with what they're doing. If they like, they can post a naked person. It does. It's not my concern. My problem is. Hagro gro gro. I pop. Now, what are you people doing there, sir? Uh, have you people released only our leader, our mass, who have been suffering for us? Now, DOS, you are not doing anything, you know. All the every time, saga saga. Someone ever is this. DOS is this. Is that what? You, is that how we get this our Biafra? That's my problem with them. How I wish they will face this uh, exposition of Nyash and then Kromon. I will have no problem. But Hagrogrona. How long that a Biafra struggle, which you are going to watch? That's my problem with them. Normally, you have freedom of choice. You can do whatever you want to do on Facebook. It's not my business. But it's after you must have messed your idiocy up, you turn back and begin to put mouth in what you are doing to tell us we are not doing it correctly. That is my annoyance with these people. And because these struggles have no consequences, and that's why they are doing this. If not, if they look back and say, nah, I don't want trouble. Let me concentrate in my stupidity. Now, watch this. I greet all of you. Uh, watch this. Let me show you. This is um, what they are doing. Look where. Hey, feel they are making. They are making. Watch this video. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to take it so far. I don't want to promote idiots. But uh, sometimes, uh, I have to. I have to. Yeah, because I, I don't. I don't lay blind accusation on people. Um, I wouldn't want people to do the same to me if you show me what i've done or you say what i've done you show it to me look at it here look at it. Okay. they don't they don't they don't they talk with me they talk all this way here and here they call this way now top oh and there's that tv the video go now thank god everything about the bony state everything about the bony state now nibu now from the mother for some people your yeah, son, your video is all about discrimination and the tribalism. Come on, because I'm there. You don't see him now. Top oh, now and there's that TV right down. Oh, yeah, be into some of you know sometimes. Make money, make money, and you bother on my make money, make money. Anything but I'm never going to say to watch this video. Also, maybe, maybe, and maybe, and I'll leave you. That's maybe other this this thing I just listed to you now. This creation of state by Fulanis. Oji Yama, who is who? Also, maybe one, maybe one, no, no, the thing I do too much. Do I want to keep the maybe Nigeria, maybe we have to go to business. Now I'll go and maybe we. Do you know why they are doing this thing? Listen, I think many of you have seen it before. Let me fast forward it. Uh, some of you should have seen it long time ago. I don't have time. Dim chukwe meko tu mebu chuku mo kenne wonya nambra state. Who's a panic? They have Piafra. Who's a panic? They have Banyere Piafra. To the extent and here Banyere Piafra, Punitara Tapia is Umibo. Millions of Umibo, Muranaga. You see where our problem is. This is where our problem is. Taro Jokota. A state. An Eba near honor. Near title. A Zibo Burubu. A more conyas remote can name where Babuka and Umbra. So I don't want to go on and on. Some of you must have seen it before. <laughs> Some of you must have seen it before. Uh, I have the problem we have. We have a very big issue in our land. Now I understand why there's free, free education. Though. Sometimes when a government says there's free education, it is not for their it is not for you, your own good. They are not doing you a favor. They are doing their self a favor. I never know. Sometimes you may not understand the, the damage of illiteracy in a society. It destroys society. It draws society back. It creates a lot of criminality. It frustrates economy. It creates chaos in a system. No wonder here, free, education is free. When I came in here, I knew that I saw it. I said, nah, these people, they are trying. I never knew they are doing their safe. They are doing their safe good. So that when you are 
when you now they bring you in with that free education they will guide you how you can be able to become human think for yourself when you see things going wrong it will hit your brain you say no we have to condemn it when things is going wrong they will team up together and flood the streets to question the government they understood that statement said the power belongs to the people it is in western world some of you that are living in france now you testify you see when the youth are doing demonstration on, 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 on a watch everybody will be on the streets both to man and woman old and young, old and young and i follow the street that's one they did one time they call it whether it's yellow fever vest this they are they so close all of them and that is why before government will do something they will look back and say now nah, we don't want problem let us do something that will favor these people we don't want their problem but where we come from is entirely different it's entirely different we started movement gradually we know we are our anger should be channeled. Our anger should be channeled on our political leaders. And we started it by beating them small. You know, there was a time IPO lifted up and said, any politician we see abroad, we should embarrass the person. And even when this one that happened in, um, in Germany took place, some of the people that are suffering at home, poverty stricken people, they came out and began to attack IPO that they don't have the respect for their elders. But they will also be the ones saying that the politicians are for setting their life but when they see people who rise up to do something they will start attacking them what is our problem something is wrong don't use the freedom of other country to compare to your own our own is entirely different altogether and that is why i pray for calamity how i wish took would just wake up one day and said no more monetization of pages no more content create you will see that a lot, a lot of criminality will meet Nigeria, which is what we are looking for. A lot of chaos. Hunger will come. And people will become sensitive. Because, you know, in a system where you don't have um, a revolution, you don't get it right. Hunger will come. Frustration will come. They will revolt. It's only hunger that will be about. You think it's what me are you preaching? You are wasting your time. This our preaching is not just... Uh, it's just to keep those of you who have already gotten the message alive and then keep you going. But left for those who opted today, never waking up, they will not wake up again. They are still waiting for a court case of uh, P2B. Some of them are waiting for a court case. They said the tribunal, you know, you know, Nigeria system, they know how to take them. They will come and tell the chief judge said that will be a rerun. It is that 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 fake news. Will lead them for like three months they will come again and put another one the thing will take them to another level so they have programmed them know what to give them so that they can be able to run with it they run with it they will be happy this that what is going on now their eyes now is in the niger niger coup everybody they are, if you see how they're analyzing even they, the youth they are frustrated youth are giving advice to the nigerian government not to embark on such movement that they should not go there instead of them to be praying for them to go so that calamity will befall everybody they are praying not to go there and i love what the people in niger are doing those are plotted the coup say they're not going to back down you know african people and their and their stick mentality every every other thing is by force and they said they automatic if you didn't obey we are going to engage you by force American envoy, they were they sent somebody there day before yesterday also. I think on Monday, no, on Monday. Yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Or today is already Wednesday. They sent them on Monday. And the man said no. He's not backing down. In fact, he said the man didn't even talk to her when he when she asked him about what he's going to do about the automatic given by African uh, leaders. Some African leaders, not all of them, because South Africa is not in support of what they're doing. So to other countries. The Rwanda president came also put their voice. Something that would have wake Africa up. Because if this thing happen, it will affect the zoo. That's why they are running head asket to make sure they stop it by force, which is going to eat their head. Because if that thing happen, people will begin to reject their colonial masters. 
Then Izu will send now uh, Niger. Don't, that's that is why they don't want Biafra to come. The same thing now, they don't want this thing to take place in Niger because it will make sure that other countries will begin to look back and say, Now, nah, nah, you have been colonizing us for many centuries now. Please, can you leave our land? Because some of the leaders who call themselves leaders in Nigeria have been put in there by Westerners. Because in the, in the absence of Western, all these, uh, you know, our colonial masters now, you can see that people, be many of you are fighting to enter there. We enter there easily because of your vote. But as it stands now, the vote does not count. For many years. And our leader also gave us instances about that. He was wondering, how can we allow somebody of such criminal criminal minded person to enter there? That in Western world, such such a thing cannot occur. And that have to define the docility in us. Uh, I think uh, this is the last thing I will play before I will bring people in. I'll bring you in here on the screen for those of you that want to join us. Um, the question is very simple. You know, what is freedom of Biafra? What is the research? I see a lot of people giving them um, advices. That's our brother called um, Obi Wan Nendi. But, ma'am, you know, so, some of our people are, you know, let me let me tell many of you. Most of us that are in Western world are not normal. Though. Some of us are frustrated. Some of us are frustrated. Some of us have never gone back home for the past 20 years. Not that where they are, they are doing well. No. Some of them have never gotten pepper. Sickness entered them. So they need to talk to somebody. That is what is going on. Most of you may not know. Our people abroad need to talk to somebody. Some of them have no friends. They don't go to meeting. They don't join anybody. So they, don't, they, they are not married. They don't have children. They need to talk to people. And that's why you see them bringing camera. And begin to give advice every day advice every day advice every day advice this is how we're going to do it to do it well what of you make a move it is easier said than to to do it make a move you want unity yes uh, let us unite now uh this will come together let us unite start it are you not a human being so every day they will come uh i want to talk about it we need to unite now everybody have to unite uh was can come together this one come together that's the only way we move forward start it unless you don't have value you mean you cannot make a move engage people find a way to reach out to them find a program to attract them reach out to people that you can know that you will use them to to bring them in if you don't have the capacity you you rack up are you not a human being you eat your peace now why not do it now peace amaka now who say you, you don't want peace I am listening to one buffoon today from Ireland. He's talking jargons. People that have grudges. Our people are very wicked. They have grudges with one another. Instead of them to come out and say, them, nah, I, I have grudges with this thing they are doing, they begin to give advice. I have been following this thing since 2012. I have been with Onyen. I, I, I do travel with him. I, I have eaten with him in the same port before. Uh, so uh, this thing they are doing now. You see this DOS now. They, they are not for good. They are not. Toa! Gossipers. Haram blocha, Jesus Some of them now go and take what that Haram and machine, machine nurse, machine name bread, machine get ticket and tea here. Get you again a mad in the in the morning. Hey, hey, where that machine frustration? This machine, hey, they are paying for the kitchen. I got packed if you can't go. Hey, where they have my in the morning. Hey, my social media, be your advice on how to move forward. Now, this is what our leader said here about this man and it happened the man entered the man entered because the system is inherently corrupt the system is bad you can't change it it's like a policeman stopping you at the checkpoint back in Blair and you're there shouting saying I, 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 I gotta go you start speaking American I gotta go you, I, you, you gotta leave me you gotta leave me you're making noise planning is very very key the type of Tinubu, this type of man called Bola Ahmed Tinubu, can never ever imagine in England, in Wales, in Scotland, hey, hey, in Northern hey, Ireland. Hey, they yeah. cannot imagine in France. They are, this type of kleptomen, a can never imagine in any country that is civilized. They have been forgotten. People haven't asked themselves, why is it that only criminals join politics in the zoo called Nigeria? Because the people are daft. 
ordinary human beings are not educated enough to understand the damage that a criminal can cause. You are not well. You want to try and get better. Where do you go to? Do you go to a quack doctor or do you go to one that can actually do the business and get you well and on your feet in no time? I don't... God knows that I kneel down and I pray and I say to Chukwabiam, can you tell me how people can be so foolish you believe it people can be so foolish that the likes of tinubu and buhari are contesting election mm. and I, I can't i shut my eyes and i cannot begin to comprehend such a people i don't understand what will possess any human being to vote for somebody like a Dodge into political power i don't understand it, it defies logic Therefore, when I say that black people are useless, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm useless. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, but are you not black? Yes, I am. Black people from Africa are foolish beyond description. Including me. So we are allowed you be talking nonsense there. All of us. A blundering thief like Tinubu to determine okay. your political fate and you want me to regard you as a human being. You are mad. You are insane. That is why you people were cutted off as slaves all over the world to work without pay for 250 years. That is why most of you are begging for visas to travel abroad. That is why you're drowning in the Mediterranean Sea. That is why you're di dying in the desert trekking to North Africa to cross over to Europe. Have you asked yourself why? Because you can't reason properly. Why don't you have electricity? Why don't you have running water? Don't you have engineers to build? Why is it that when the white man came, there was running water? When the white man was about there, the railway was working. How come they left and nothing is working? Have you asked yourself that question before? Why did things stop working? <laughs> brother, I said no, but I said collectively, we are, including you. Collectively, individually, you can be smart, but collectively, we're a failure. Uh, my, my, I have posted a link there. You can join me on the screen. Um, let us. Um, ask one ourselves questions and then um, you know uh, what is going on is um it's good that something that is something is going on because before we don't know that we don't know it is called he who does not know that he does not know you know they are called fools you know before we don't know that we don't we don't it is called he, you don't know that you don't know i don't know how I'm, what i'm making sense Emma. And we are ignorant. You don't know that you are bumping, you are a, you are a moron. You're not a saying I'm smart. I'm smart. We are very smart now. And then I won't bring you. And then I won't bring you. What this kid told you as a market. I give you this. I that. Say I'm smart now. So these are the things we are saying. Is now we realize that something is wrong with us. At least we have realized that we have a problem. Now we are going towards it and as we are going towards it we should not take it personal because if you take your personal you bring you break down we just assume that we are morons but we are trying to come out of it and that's why master nam the canon is screaming as soon as you go left why have you asked yourself that question before no you're wallowing in self-pity feeling sorry for yourself oh black people invented heaven they invented earth what would take over People talk so much rubbish. You invented nothing apart from ignorance. And we'll cure you on radio behind our board. Here we will cure you of your illness and your disease. Your ignorance will be taken away from stripped away from you. Blue for you. Who not believe? Any day you acknowledge how stupid you are, you begin to change. Your reasoning will turn around. You will see things more clearly. I don't believe in stupid sentimentality. I never ever feel sorry for myself why should i why should i feel sorry for myself because and then you will understand how your life will change after this very program this evening we are being listened to all over the world radio biafra is the largest indigenous broadcaster on this very planet earth we are on radio we are on satellite and we are online unbeatable with your mobile phone you listen to radio biafra unbeatable people may want to copy what we are doing some have gone from being adversaries to saying they are complimenting the work. Don't compliment us. We don't need anybody's compliment. 
everything you need to restore Biafra is here complete. We unveil them one at a time. As I said, we strangulate uh, and we swallow uh, our enemies even when they are alive. All right, but I say he's not seen link. Um, let me paste it again here. I paste the link in my platform. You can go to Methuselah de Mekisedek. You see the link is also here. Uh, it's also here on the screen. I, I post it now. This is a link here, but you can also go to Methuselah de Mekisedek. I post it there. And um, I think, um, yes, it's there. It's there. It's there. Go to Methuselah de Mekisedek. You know, I have different pages. I'm running this program. Our brother gave me advice that I should link my pages together. No, I'm not looking for viewers. I split it differently. I have like um, I have like how many pages that I'm showing this program now? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I put it in different platforms. So um, if you're not seeing the link, the link is here. The link is here. If you want to join and then educate us on what you understand by freedom of your people, the Biafra. Uh, because sometimes some of you don't understand what you are pursuing. And that's why when we are talking about the betterment of our place, you now descend in destroying our own in the name of sit at home. And I don't know today whether they are still sitting at home. Nobody is talking about sit at home again. Why? Or maybe it's from my own side. I'm not seeing any noise anymore about sit at home. People are just, even, I don't know whether the dead people have wake up from the grave. We have a lot of people now moving around in our place. Maybe in the one who can have their hair here and sit at home. What have they provided? The, the kind of crowd I see in Biafra land this time around, it is alarming. And that is why today they know that they have been defeated. So one of our brother called me that they are sitting at home in their in their village. That I should talk to the director of state that they are sitting at home in their village. Whether he's saying he's in our law or whatever. And I, I have never replied him. Because um if you allow yourself to be used, then that is your own cup of tea. It means that there are people are not following what is going on. And uh, I think that our brother told me that they are now sitting in a church because of fear. He's dead. He's dead. Since I told me he's dead now. He's everywhere. People are doing their normal business. People are doing their normal business. They have nothing. Let me tell you what these people did. These people deceive a lot of a lot of our people. As I did, Okobo used the influence of these criminals enter our land and slaughter a lot of people. Of which he is now confessing that he have his own humanity being supported by Nigerian government. To tell you that Nigerian government are weak, they handed over part of their military to a criminal to control. So when this time these people are shouting, sit at home, sit at home, enforcement, this will use that opportunity. Enter all those times you are seeing houses are being burnt down. Is the people from Asare Boys. Can you now begin to see the reason why we need to follow one chain of command so that we know where our problem is coming from? As I read the Cobalt boys are busy burning houses of our people, snatching cars, whereas autopilot are busy looting shops and then destroying perishable goods. And the worst part of it, they will come out, they will begin to take the glory. That they are hitting them hard now. If you go to your pages, all you will be seeing is neutralized. I've never heard them say we we engage in Nigerian military now. Look at the sources of people who have brought down. Look at them. Look at them here. Look at us here. Look at them. Just just cover your face and I say, look at them. You won't. What we hear is that our men now have neutralized them. We are winning 15-0. Just to deceive some of you. So that you think that something is happening. And because we are gullible, if you see, if you hear it on social media, you don't need to confirm it. It just is okay. The good guy, we move. The, the only man. Even some of you begin to equate mass and the kind of say eh, they think they, they thought that they, they, he's mass and the kind of this one is action. Where did you see action? No, where did you see action? 
and when the heat came hard on them they begin to write to uh, united nations to come to the rescue and so things are happening <laughs> our brother say our, our brother say they are new colonizers they, they think things are happening <laughs> I said, I don't want to laugh here today. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. My sister will be descending. Uh, I think um, we don't need to <laughs> we don't need to waste time here. Our brother said, um, yes, he said it. I thought Okobo said it. Yeah. And Nigerian government um, give him go ahead order. Because Nigerian government, um, they are too much afraid of the uh, Eastern Security Network. You know, so. And that is why they now have to hand the contract to us to do you know so um we have morons here like i know i, I love to see morons i love to see morons <laughs> i love to see morons <laughs> yes uh, well, that thing that our brother said uh, no problem he knows the people he's referring to there are so many idiots in our land and now do you know their new language their new language you know, is unit they want us to unite yes hello yeah what's your problem Who has us? So it's some very good to do this medium to retire but This dude dot me the police. This dude dot me the police. Hi. Yeah. About about the BBC and for the business as a solid dotting comment on the auto apple on your ass. Yeah, und. But at last, the auto and then found a cow to choose. Yeah, fast. Yeah, fast. Okay, fast. Can't problem. Yeah, this better. Made this. Made this in Sagman in 10 minutes. Okay. 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 Then this better. It's not an issue. Ah, uh, we know Ah. Uh, let me. Their new code is things are happening since they don't have any link to get information from our leader, they are not attacking our leader directly. They don't want to take order from DSS. Um, you know, like I said, the problem we have is we don't engage on a mutual discussion, and that is the like I love what happened. What happened? in this struggle really really define who is who and you have to give to go gather my thanks because sometimes people are and I, I, I don't want many of you to be like that please when you see somebody saying something that you're against try and make sure you call the person to order if there's a link if there's a phone number let me put my phone number here in case of this this person writing can get morale to call if somebody's doing something that you don't like or something that you know that is not correct you call the person on phone engage him peacefully like there's a people that's a i don't want to post a link here we are gonna there's a program coming on tomorrow about the about self-determination united nations self-determination uh we are gonna appear you know if it's uh, the climate in finland that uh, they will make it like a jingle Maybe I will post it. And anybody who wants to join us should know about Biafra. 
very very well the message is all about uh, i think i have to post it i'll post it after this program i have registered i'll be with them i met the lady in america a jewish woman so they are they are organizing let me just read it out they are organizing um uh let me see if i can be able to bring it they're organizing a seminar uh if it's autopilot now with that white people now you know they they love show they put it and say that united nations have recognized us uh this is it i met this lady i met her i met her um in america and they are organizing multi-generational reflection on the implementation of the united nations declaration on the right of indigenous people so i'm going we are going to shock them tomorrow uh it will be all of because it's a zoom discussion and they have so many people from different countries we have a professor hannah uh, mc glade they have also professor contancel a united nation uh, this one is a delegate to the united nation working group of indigenous population jeff is a professor of indigenous studies at the university of victoria located on on um located on unceded lekungen territory his research and teachings focus on everyday act of resurgence so we are going to engage them tomorrow in a very that's why the reason why i don't want to post it so that uh, all this uh, autopilot infiltrator will not find themselves in the midst and begin to talk nonsense. That's why I just keep it to myself. I will send it to some people to add up, you know, so that you can come tomorrow. The is gonna take place. I think in other tomorrow, yes, it's going to take place tomorrow, and uh, we are going to join them and to start asking them about them self denomination they are talking. Are we not included? Because some some countries they listed there, Biafra is not there, and they are doing right of self determination. So that is why we need to continue engaging them in a very calm manner. Uh, that is why you need to know what we are doing before you join this struggle. Uh, they won't call. I once said that in the autopilot did, did something good. You didn't understand where I was coming from. They helped us to separate the child from the yes. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. Unless he didn't make it clear very well. I will not post it, our brother. I know people will send it. Before I have and I go and sit at home. <laughs> I may post the link now openly. <laughs> they will go there and begin to ask them why are they sitting at why are they not sitting at home? <laughs> why are they talking about self-determination? That uh, they used to water water. Is water water. Without water, water, you cannot get anything. Um, I know her brain. So we are asking many of you to call in and debate. The number is here. You call in is either you call in or you join the screen. You can't hear, you can't see this kind of opportunity somewhere else. Have you ever asked yourself why all this while you people that are doing program can't open your line? And we on, the only only question we need to ask is, what have you done practically since two years? That's all. No, I don't want to add too much. The only answer you will hear from them is that it is because of this killing of our women that made the, the issue of mass and the kind of not to be forgotten. Eh? Without someone by now, everywhere will be quiet. And as if mass and the kind have never been in detention before. Yes, I'm H. Amsalem. I will send you the link. I will I know people, I know people I will send the link now. After all, there are people from where you people are. They have a professor from Canada, professor from America. So people that are coming there are well-learned people. So that when we want to throw a question, we throw a very, very, a very, very, you know, sensible question that will make them to start thinking. We, we, we can't come and tell our people, hey, we have met United Nations workers now. Biafra is here. No, it is an awareness. We want to let them know. In case they didn't know some of them may not know what is going on let us continue because tomorrow we are going to flood there they will on their zoom they will be hearing biafra 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 people are talking about we may change the discussion they have 
you asking them question why can't you people say something about this and you keep quiet every day you are doing them um, right for said determination so the afran people are not human beings so that's what we are going to engage them tomorrow we are not going to make noise about it i did this sort of a lot you know what we see on the on their platform uh, we have move on i told people that Simon and Ewana have contacted the united nation they have organized a zoom meeting on how they are going to give us the we move oh hey everyone is she. now you will know now you will know wash, wash. something big is happening the one they wrote the day before yesterday a breaking news is coming very soon <laughs> no. they don't want to learn <laughs> they don't want to learn <laughs> yes i know uh i know i know i'm an about dave don't worry i know <laughs> they will tell you they will tell you some there's a big news now that is coming it's just like jesus is coming soon and oka people can ever oka nobody have asked now jesus have you ever asked, see ndoka hi Justin, now jesus why haven't you come you know here before have you seen somebody go to the pulpit and say reverend father since i was born you have been preaching and then we have been singing it like a jingle hallelujah christ is coming very soon hallelujah christ is coming very soon and now i'm getting old and then when is he coming you can't hear it have you seen them complain i'm not going to go to church and i'm not praying anymore they have been praying they say he's coming soon nobody's questioning but this is for some of them join after covid 19. since we are you don't do anything now you people have been here now since he's talking uh, onion do you people want to kill onion do onion do onion do people have been working with you before you joined them they didn't kill him that time it's not they want to kill because he joined that's why i told many of you the job we have is very far it's very very far the job is too far now they are begging for unity anywhere you go now see them now let us unite now we need to unite all this all this saga now here and there attacking each other will not get us anything let us unite not them not them anybody that want to unite make a move on your own make a move unite our people who, who will love you okay let me pick your call um since you don't want to join the screen yes can you hear me mm. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm not, I can hear you clearly. I can hear you loud and clear. Yes, go on. The word is the word is listening to. Um, yes. Okay. Good evening. My name is. Uh, I'm calling from United Kingdom. Okay. You know, um, I like what you're doing. I, I, I always appreciate what you do since the rendition of our leader. Okay. But I have to state categorically to you this evening. Okay. That the rendition, the kidnap and the rendition of our leader is a mighty blessing in disguise. Yeah. Like you. Yeah, I, I agree with you. So if this thing did not happen, I would be shouting all hey Biafra with people like Simon Epa, mm -hmm. Simon, um, uh, uh, many of them like that. In my zone, I purposely left my zone, go to another zone, and make sure I start three of a pilot member. Mm. One day, I wonder I will be fired with the IPO. For sure. And the reason I just take it here like you like this, but just carry a bit in your IPO back then. But in Kemua, I went out of my way and told them. They have both even them for a similar autopilot to each other here. When they got that room out of a mama of the I don't need to talk too much. Secondly, even to a community member to come one. Now, I apologize, I have to DOS. Mm. I'm only to my hand, but we don't want to go there. Exactly. Got to them. Then, when they're gonna guard in a media post, because like 
Like what our brother said, many of you may not understand. I want you to be in peace. Banana, well, give one more attention to me, please. Give one more time, you know. I am here to protect our struggle. Uh, some of you that have come now, no way, no way, no way, peace. All this is not unity. I know I have come here before. But out of a sudden, I know I'm unite, unite. Let me repeat this thing again today. And when, 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 they don't get it. This, our, this thing our brother said now. They have nothing. They have nothing. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me just pick up. Let me pick up. Um, born a few, no problem. When you go, when you when you saw, when you saw, help him. Leave your bad no, 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 no. Uh, yes, can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Yeah, on your man. Good evening. Yes, you're welcome. I just flew. Now we are hearing you. Just flow straight. Straight ahead. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my name is Mazi Um I came very late, but I was able to capture one of the questions you asked what the Afra means. And uh, to my own very context, uh, I can say the Afra means freedom, which is the language of everybody on this very agitation. And uh, when we are to talk about what Biafra means, everybody has different opinion what Biafra means to him, or what, what he thought, or what may be to his own, you know, um, should I say, to his own understanding what Biafra means. To me, I can say Biafra means freedom. And uh, what does freedom mean? That's the, uh, another extent we have to look to understand more about what the Afrani is. Now, uh, I look at uh, some, let me read from a kind of a, a, a novel English uh, dictionary. It says, freedom means the power or right to act, speak, or think or or think as one want without hindrance or restraint. So, Biafra, when you bring it, you know, when you put in Biafra into it, the Biafra to all of us means power to control our own future, to control our own land. 
and to speak without any hindrances. You know, whereby power will be not to people, as they always said, democracy is the government of the people, but it's not being practiced in Nigeria. So Biafra means the authority to control your future and your rights and to speak without any hindrance. Mm -hmm. The authority to determine. Hello? Yes. Am I coming out? Yes, continue, continue. I don't want to interrupt you. The authority, the authority to control your future and to determine your existence. So that is what I can say Biafra means. Now, Marze, uh, uh, we like to ask you a question also in this very uh, area. Now, in this very stage we are, and the, the high level of vulnerability, uh, a lot of a lot of people are into now. Can you? What can you say? As in, do you think the Africans in this very stage of vulnerability that the African people can our people can have that authority to have the authority or right to speak without any hindrance where they see something going wrong? Okay. <laughs> Um, let me try as much as I, I can. Get my question. Yes, I get your question. Um, I have to rephrase it so that I know that I get your question. Okay. Uh, I will manage it because I think you know this is coming from your own, own background. Um, you can you hear me? Okay, I mean, I, hello. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? I'm asking. Uh, hello. Yes, I'm hearing you. I can hear you now. Can I go? Can I? The question back. Is that what you, yes, we ask. I repeat, 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 repeat. Let me get you very well. Repeat, yeah. Okay, I, I mean, at this level of vulnerability, we find our people in now. As I read from the English, uh, not good history, saying that freedom means the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without being grasped. Now, in this very vulnerability, our people are now that they are in this very vulnerability. That do you think that when Biafra come, if Biafra will come now, do you think our people will know the right, uh, their right to speak when things are going wrong without any hindrance? Or, you know, okay, okay. Um, let me answer that your question, and that is why I will relate your question to the yes. Just hold on, I'm hearing you, brother. Um, can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you, man. Yes. Your question yeah, is yeah, yeah, your I'm question. Hearing, yeah. Your question is very simple. I have to relate it to what our brother said, a previous caller, and someone also wrote it here that um, we are okay. so happy with the condition we've seen ourselves. Um, and that had it been this thing did not happen, we will not know that our level of idiocy is of this level. So, uh, all I can tell you now, the stage we are now, we are not ready for freedom. The stage we are now, I don't even want freedom to come to us now until we understand that their power lies in, in us to speak up without hindrance, like you said. You can see that a lot of us are not even speaking up. Some of us not only speaking up, some of us are even enjoying the bad system that we see ourselves. They make money out of our situation. Just like uh, the criminal in Finland who gathered people and begin to extort from them. Some of them are being told that they are going to give them visa to travel to Poland to go and pick, pick mushrooms. And a lot of people fall into that trap. So collectively, if I may say, we need more awareness. We need to be we need to create a movement for enlightenment where our people can be able to kill in. And I know it's very hard. I don't want to relate this to religious issue because I know this is where everything is hinging. The level of our reasoning, it is not, re is not ready. I mean, we are not, we are not a type that are ready for the freedom that we are pursuing. That is why I, I ask, do we really know what we are fighting? Because some of us are claiming, just, just one minute. Some of us who claim that they are in the forefront of this struggle, especially those that I call themselves autopiloters, and some of even our media uh, media warrior, I, I've heard them before said, if 
Biafra will stop them from worshipping their Jesus Christ. It is better Biafra not to come. Have you heard it before? Yes. Hello? Yes, I've heard that. I've uh -huh. come uh -huh. so, uh, so they don't know what is freedom. A lot of us are like that. A lot of us are like that, brother. So the question is that um, our people are not ready yet. We will continue. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, and another question that I want to ask is this is not uh, about segregation. Uh, I've used it on one of my programs some time ago. Uh, it's also centered on this very question I answered. I asked now coming to Enugu because of uh, the uh, I school in Enugu and I'm staying in uh, 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 the WhatsApp group. Ever since 2015, I school there. Now, when people pay little attention to the information that we have them, how do you think that we can be best such a people, Margaret? Uh, that is why I Hello. said yes, I can hear you, and that is why I said if you if you start from the program from the beginning, and uh, maybe you'll be hearing it from oh. me. Right. Okay, uh, I'm hearing you. Our brother, I'm your network. You. Your network is. Um, I get your question. I get your question, brother. I get your question. I want to respond. I, I noticed. Uh, I uh, want to ask you again so that uh, maybe I'm caught up and then you answer. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, better, okay. better, uh, better, better. Just go on. Finish it once. I uh, think your network is not steady. Yes. Okay. Okay, why I ask this question is that I, the question I ask, how do you ask people, as a, uh, a lot of our people pay me to attention to information that will be of help to them, and they are, as, as they are not paying attention, fully attention to gather the information that will help them out, how do we replace such a people? Secondly, uh, as, like I said, I use it as a part of program, not for segregate, but I centered it towards a new when this issue of sitting at home was happening. I had a lot of my fellow graduates that were complaining that Mazen and the canon, um, that the canon and IPOB are serving them in any state. And I was asking them this question if you cannot be able to gather information that will help you. But you don't know about IPOB. You don't listen to Nigerian news as a, a somebody that wants to be one Nigeria. You don't listen to the situation press releases of my IPOB. So how do you want to help yourself? I ask them this. Now, you know, I said on that I'm trying to you know narrate a bit uh, how I was able to discuss with them. I begin to find out to my own self why Enugu was the first place to collapse during the Biafra War. I asked the, the question there. Now, why, uh, why I'm saying this is not because I'm saying it out of uh, to segregate them. But when in a society, in a society, you have a number of youth that are supposed to educate even not educated ones. But there seems to be a same level with those that never even oh, no. no, the network is bad, our brother. Uh the the network is bad and sometimes when the network is not really flowing, uh the conversation doesn't flow. But I understand what you are asking. Um we will continue preaching. Uh room was not built in a day. Uh, sometimes our message doesn't pierce immediately. There are people that wake up today, there are people that wake up tomorrow, and that's why those that are waking up should not back down. Uh, for the fact that there are some group of people who are just, um, you know, ignoring our messages, sometimes it may be the message available to them that they're listening to. Um, I will um, let me pick your call. I think I would have um, attended to the question of our brother. I'll pick your call, brother. I'll pick your call, brother from America. I'll pick your call. Our brother asked a, a very good question, and um, the only question, the only answer to that is that um, we don't expect all of us to wake up at the same time. 
I would not want to generalize it. If you go to Imo State today, there are people that don't believe in Biafra. There are people that believe in Biafra. You go to Enugu, the same. You go to Abbey, the same. And we don't expect everybody to join the struggle. If they, all of them join the struggle, now you know that you are not going to get it. Because we need opposition. With opposition, you can be able to become your best. You show yourself. Just like we have our top in today. I will not have tested my resolve. The same with many of you that are almost at a lot. It's because we have infiltrators. And especially those that came from inside. We can be able, we could be able to curtail them. And out you today, we stood our ground. And I know they'll be wondering. So upon our propaganda and blackmailing, still these people are still here. Defending these people. Sometimes when you write the doors are wise, they feel like hitting their head on the wall. And I've made this thing clear several times. That I'm not a hero worshiper. If I see anything that the Red of State have done to jeopardize the struggle of this magnitude, to jeopardize mass and the canoes coming up, to jeopardize the coming of Biafra, I will come out and say it. And I've asked many of you, if you know what I've done, please call me in and then let us discuss it. But I've never got any call, just like we are talking. Somebody just took his time to write love letter. Instead of, and I'm not ready to read it. And I will not also block you. Instead of you to call in, you are wasting your time typing. And that is why we want to train many of you not to be a coward. Always confront issues. Don't be afraid of people. All of us are created equal. Forget about that this finger are not equal, but they're, all of them are important. Don't be afraid of your fellow man or woman, as the case may be. Confront them. Be civilized in talking to them, but if they don't want to listen, you descend on them. They are nobody. Even me, as I'm talking. If you talk to me in a way that you think I'm not following you, you descend on me. I'm not feeding you, unless I'm the one that is feeding you, that you will be afraid. That you, maybe if you talk to me anyhow, I will stop giving you money for food, for your livelihood. I open line, people are calling me. People are just taking their time writing love letters. So let me go back to you, our brother that called from America. We, we get back to people. We are not afraid of, you know, people will be afraid. No, no, I don't want to pick this call before this brother will challenge me. You know, he's calling from America. You know, American people are very, they are civilized. So maybe he's going to embarrass me. I, I, I'm, I'm prepared for this struggle. I'm telling you the truth. Yes, can you hear me? Hi. Hi. Um, hello. Yes, you're welcome, brother. I'm calling from, yeah, I'm calling from Canada. Not okay, from Canada. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. There is something I want to touch on. You know, sometimes I I join your broadcast maybe after you finish um, broadcasting. But uh, luckily for me today, I I am here live. Okay. So what I want to say is this, eh? there are some things that you're saying that you you don't know that it's very important. It is very, very important. There is something wrong with our minds here in Canada. Let me tell you one thing. Here in Canada, the Oyibo, the Oyibo get their smart. They know how to destroy minds of people. Mm. There is a lot of toxic in black people in black people's brain. Seriously, and my own, my own. I had this before. My but imagine man the can do remove I'm not toxic. Okay? There's nothing. Even I do things with my brain. Don't tell me God will do it. Or by the, no, I have to do it myself because I am a woman. You understand? So there are something, there are things that you're saying that, um, like the other time you mentioned about being independent. I don't know if you remember last time. Hold on, there was a time that you were saying about, um, oh, sorry, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, just keep my mind. It's okay, you know? it's okay. Let's go, go. Yeah. Uh, just, please, eh? mm -hmm. you know the problem we have, eh? you see this religion you're touching, don't, don't move away from me, it's one of our problems. I don't know why. It's one of our problems. Yeah, it is one of our problems because we, we, we have to remove that religion in our mind. Don't, don't, if you have to come out, that's why, nah, I can't, it's too much, no. It's very, very serious in 
our minds, only destroy our minds. Okay, what channel? A criminal. They must see the to see the in the Africa to do poor Afro music. They didn't you know this in Afro music. Why not to them back before when they say I know cool my American hip hop, hip hop red from all those people. But we are not moving anyhow. We are not we don't move an inch. But immediately like Africa they are born and Afro, where they belong to. You see, we are the best in the world. Mm. Now, it's because we have to do our thing. What belongs to us, we have to do it. Do you understand? Yeah. So, the issue now, Kai, let's figure out where we belong to. Like in Canada, I'm not now. Every problem in Canada, I'm not now. I'm not now. And I'm not like you to carry on the case because I'm not going to have the original origin, the original people in this Canada. They are, they are still stuck in their blood, eh? They are not going to marry you to the group. I'm wrong with Canada, I'm wrong with too much. They are so, they are wrong with too much. They are wrong with too much. They have a bit of their life because in France and the region, in the England, they are wrong with that. Oh, how long with that? They destroy both their minds. They destroy everything about them. Okay, now, I remember, I remember I didn't try to look before. I remember one broke up female before yesterday. He made one. No one to go. He would go. He did go. It was not sitting on your mind. Don't even talk about Now, I remember one day I was talking about her. I said, I'm happy. Go, go, go. I said, Can you hear me? That thing is a toxic. After that, I said, Can you hear me? And they go and say, You need to have time. Let them speak up. You know why they ask you that question? Because of where they came from. Because of the environment that we are brought up, brought up from. How do they feel? How do they believe in that? Now, how could you know? Could I have the only guy challenge you by and what are you saying? Speak up. So, how could you know? How could you hear me? Open this. You need like that opportunity. Just speak on that you are not going to interrupt. But they will still ask you that question because of that first thing, first thing, first thing in our blood, in our mind. On one level, there are a lot of things that I may make. But I am a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Did you want? Did you want your? Did you want your? I I I send them out. They clear them out of their mind. You already don't know one of it. Also, now one of the top top thing in our in our in our mind before we go around. Not our point. Oh no, can you not understand now? Only understand when you get the book, the book, or if I do my is 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 more more. I tell him I'm in online, we're not online. But if you will continue speaking until you finish, you understand. Yeah. So. Oh, one of the yeah, one of yeah, a problem from there. Cause yeah, he put that there, come there. There is the most yeah, a place to go. The way black man can go, go and go, go and say, can you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening? But most high is a rock when you are speaking. You understand? Yes, I must not. So let's continue doing this. Yeah, right. they put out the main thing. The religion will number one thing. I will problem. I will. I'm going to with you. Yeah, correct, brother. Yeah, correct, brother. Yeah, correct, brother. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Um, our uh, brother, thank you, brother. Some people are asking my two seller if this is a live program because I do uh, put some uh, program live. This is a live broadcast. I think um, uh, from time to time I will be always um, uh, recapping so that some of you that are joining will know that it's a live program. The live program that is about to come to an end uh, is just all about our people not to divide ourselves uh, by you are from Ebony, you are from Anambra, you are from Imo. No, we are not in that way. Imagine Nam the Kano who started this journey, first of all, destroy the divide and root tactics. In case you are joining us and you're bringing such, uh, we have passed through that stage. We ask you to join us in the front. After you must have finished your gullibility behind, meet us in the front. We've crossed the stage of divide and root. I don't want to hear it in my ear. You want your number. You want emo. Nan emo people. Oh, nan dabe. Now the, the, this this autopilot, autopilot is like a a dustbin. Autopilot is like the dustbin of IPOB. That's how we define them. They are they are they are they are refuse dump. You know, you know, a perforated IPOB. They now they are useful. I'll cover on that side because all how they put away this all how I power this division I got like you watch here. Some of them are complaining. No, in the other state, in the in the other state, they need to observe it at home. This have their people uh, because of uh, mass now returning from that side. They don't want to sit at home. 
I get one on your top pilot from other states that obey them, but they don't want to know. So, hey, generalize earlier, no one that be because of mass and not because of other state. Therefore, other people don't want to see that. Too. The same thing, you can hear generalize for the threat of state, they are criminals, even though they don't know them. In the in the in the in the non aside the DOS in the side the DOS, and if you watch, like our brother said, a lot of in this autopilot are practicing a hardcore, useless, moronic in terms of worshiping. This is a um, the people that are there. I know a lot of people are calling. Our brother are calling. Metisala is about to sleep. I don't know. It's too late here. It's too late here. Yes, they are the dustbin. They are the dustbin. You know, they are the dustbin. Or anytime you see blackmailing with them, that they blackmail. Oh, they blackmail. Paul Achebe made a comment. Oh, they, if I want to, if I want them, if I want to, if I want them to carry my news, I know what I will do. I know what I will do. I, I need to. I talk something. I can even come out and I say. And I'm the one that kidnapped Mazen and the camp. I can say it here now. They don't want to verify. They don't know the reason why I'm talking what I'm talking. Ah, Th God, thank you. At last, they have confessed. And then someone have confessed. Go to Matusara now. He's the one. He's the one that bundle onion. I said it the way he used to do his things. I, I, I even sometimes when he talk, he laugh. That laugh is laughing because of the money and the his own share. He remember it in the bank ah millions you know onion is very important now they share almost billions of dollars so his own may be up to up to one million one million dollars so that's why you see him changing tie that's one time he wear yesterday the one he wear yesterday is red today now he's black and every time he's clement god will punish you come out will meet you look at people i tell you <laughs> i tell you if it try now, it try and I'm, I will continue talking it here and they'll they cut it. Say he's the one that said it. And that is why they have virtually accused everybody in this struggle. If I know back, you can't do that. I'm going to take the electorate of state. Uh, as I said, uh, the wife, Nelly of him. Who is uh, by the stage of four? Also, come hey, believe me, I brought up one more. Uno Bona, when are they wait now? Uno Bona, I mean, a lot of people like you. Yeah, me, but on my platform, you wouldn't do them accuse. You've been at the wrong place. I brought this calling. Uh, you came very late. Uh, let me pick your call, just give you like one minute. I go, it's late here, very, very late here. I give you one minute. Just wrap up one minute. I want to go. It's almost after one here. Mm. Biafra is still a new life, a new life, because life, Biafra nation will be like a new life for us. But again, it says going to be in the Bible back because Biafra is there. Because with this type of mentality, Biafra <laughs> will be worse than that material. I agree, because, <laughs> I agree with you. I'm telling you, but you pretend to destroy your Arab brain and the mentality of our people. We call it for our people is too much. The people with the superstition, people might behave poorly without any evidence. People might behave poorly without any evidence. Ask me to. How will you not buy a radio draft? A radio draft from not a good one. Ninety percent of our people. When they have a great hugging, it's just a fact. Our people now a day will move to the other side. That is why they are calling for. Just what we are doing in the internet, everybody, and I'm going to call all this. 
I swear, our people need very special prayer. Happen. We go to the Bible and pray. We call it for the Lord. We go to the Bible and they go out to come and they are grown. We go to carry. I think I go to here and I go. I go to I go to I go to there. I go to there. At all. Oh, mental, mental problems. We need to go to the Lord and the Lord. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Uh, two people have called today and said, uh, Mars, if you apologize to our, the leadership. Autopilot, in right hand, let me tell you your mind. You know, I study you people. I study you people. I don't know. I don't know. Anytime I'm sleeping, I'm studying you people. <laughs> because I can't waste my time when I'm busy dealing with my drawing and other things. I know. I always study many of you anytime I'm sleeping. If autopilot hear these things now, these people are talking, they will say, hey, only you have rejected them now. They are, they, are, they are planning to attack him. They have started saying that uh, he should come and apologize. So if only you do not apologize now, you see them now, they will attack him straight ahead. I know you people. I know you plan them. To go grab and make the idea that now we have this kind of, um, uh, you know, ups and downs. So now I'll go to the consolation. Each report will give power each. The consolation will be automatic. I need ye. On a be a be. On a on a be automatic. As in human man anya bala. On a click a click. I need many a meeting. In my meeting, you are inviting their enemy to come and finish their unfinished job. Man, I go say say. You know, be you run away, begin the blackmail me. They carry propaganda with my name. You have tried it to pull the struggle down. It didn't succeed. Then you come from back and I'll be telling me that we have to come for peace. Where do you see people begging for peace before? Where? Your yeah, peace is not going to bring my son and the kind of out. He's already coming out. The people that are doing their job are doing their job. Don't they? No, never you beg for peace. Be it wife or be it children. Do the right thing. One in Prala be Allah saw Allah without any reason. Unless more money major, major. Game other than yes, you realize that yes, I offended you. I have to, you have to go and apologize to her. Say please, I major one because Baharam. But on no account, when he may not. Yes, no palace now. I want to go. You join some other game. No, no, don't go here. I don't have much. See because Allah, Allah, no reason. Now we have no reason. So this is what we saw with these people. They came through Nelly of Fable to blackmail this trouble. Nelly of Fable showed a market to them. They bought it. After they bought the market, the market and you are on your rational had the eye out there. Hey, we're a web to hold your mom and tea on our side. Why you disappear? You're not party problem on yours. I'm not a candor. Then a party at a point of your class here. Give a big action. I'm being a piece with you. Guy has a so as well. She never go on her job. So we are not begging for peace. We are on a move to do what we are doing. If you who want to brand yourself as a agent of peace, start it. Don't come out and begin to make noise with it on social media. Start it. Are you not a man? Are you not a human being? Are you a fool? Are you a baby? That is the that is why I don't like too many all these African leaders, especially this one they call Malema, whatever. Or what, what is his name? Not Malema. Um uh, is it a professor Lumumba, whatever? He talks with you talk, Nano Asha. What is the meaning? 
we talk, 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 talk. Africa is in danger. Africa is suffering. Africa is dying. We need to do something. What are you doing? I will be the person appropriate. You speak very good. And then, and so what? So if you speak good now, then peace will come or freedom will come. That is why we are supporting the leader of New York. In as much as his effort nearly being destroyed by the enemies. He was talking now as a any show every time talking 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 he created an an arm struggle and i'm i'm a wing call it eastern security network you know actually i go other side you get the name they raise the money may infiltrate the team so that tomorrow night fl will be okay i just need to talk 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 we need action if they tell you not to go and involve yourself be part of those that will give action get your time one you want one that you cannot go now because you, what you have at hand is too much. Then I'm going to remember that thing. And you're going to instruction, don't contact the people abroad. Oh, Kunu, na 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 Saying uh, the DOS have embezzled money now. He didn't hear, he didn't see. So that is why we're here. And we're not going to be, be tired. Who knows that they tired? Who knows that they're tired? Who knows that they're tired? One day, eh, on a biaba. Every day, we are social media. Hey, who be Afra, be Afra. Issues of be Afra. But that time, we can't hang Gala the criminal in Finland. What are you doing, good guy? Hey, what are you doing, good guy? Eh, I'm telling you, I got I got even, I got my tata. Court right here, the man will go eat that. I swear. Cannibalism in nature. Yeah, one. All these things in my body, I'm going to have one. Some of you are saying, and did you ask the organ, organ harvesting? Yes. If I see the way I'll harvest your organ as an autopilot. But I'm not for peace. I'm not an agent of peace. I want to name a peace. So I'm, if, if I'm like that in nature, you can't see a committee, I said my hair committee, etc., for peacekeeping. You know, go see me there. I'm telling you the truth. I have studied human beings. I have studied especially our people. You know, yeah, now do us be for peace. Now, do you know what they will say? Uh -huh. I told you now. You have to beg. Even hey, we care what US, you have to be under the criminal because uh, now we the rain now. Now we the rain. Even only she put on our all the provost because we have now prime minister. You know he's the prime minister now. So how can you expect our prime minister, the good guy, to be under your leader? Let him manage the radio. Uh, let him be talking while we are meeting the diplomatics. Uh, we go, we are, I'm going to meet Trump now. You know I'm the campaign manager. And uh, the worship is London now. The worship is in a uh, river, river the character for the government because of uh, uh, Nigerian soldier. They will believe, they will believe. useless people. So, I have to leave it here. I want to thank all of you <laughs> that are here with us. Uh, we are going to convene, we are not going to be tired. Provided this drug is concerned, but the thing I will not do is um, social media. No offense. Hey, you could get it and that. No. Listen to our problem here. Look at our problem. There he at the screen. Um, there he at the screen. <laughs> I know how to deal with many of you. Instead of more to be annoyed with your stupidity, Okama, let me perish. Your stupidity cannot move me. Rather, your, your stupidity make me to laugh. You know why? You are reminding me how foolish and stupid some people can be. Just like our brothers are saying, I'm with you, Kuno saw peace. Even if I'm dreaded or stay, see, because help Rena the peacemaking. I'm not going to do it. So, Uno and there, I'm that autopilot that time. Oh, Kuno, you have peace. And I say, yes. I go share the immune work. I just say, no, Kuno, I'll be at peace. You say, yes. Ah, peace, I'm not going to. So we have now only been here only some minutes. I call anyone and they come the structure of Mazen and become. They have popular side of this. About share door, we will fool one at the one at the two no oko, two no oko. Chop beer, chop beer. Jewish boy, you now go now now jail it outside. I am on live uh, social media. My voice. I'm not. I don't know who is listening to me. This is you. I'm talking now. Ebo kwa in secret, kwa me in private, in public, with microphone. Kwa wa microphone naka. I will repeat this thing and I'll convince you the reason why I'm saying it. And I'm convinced you will give Jack a little walk. Because he shall each other. 
you, you know, come, in, come in public, say, nah, nah, this thing you are saying, it doesn't show that you need peace in our land. You know, our land is in Ukraine, and you're talking these things. So it doesn't mean that I, I now have a different opinion. So must I support what you are doing? Can't I be as an autopilot and be doing what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you reason? Get your keys, your food, your own work. Because you know, I'll a lot of life in our land. I tell you. So uh, this is what I'm going to use to end the program. I want to thank all of you. I want you to remain blessed. Remain blessed, brothers. You must continue. If you ask the Israeli, go and ask them. Some of you that are living there, ask them how did they get their freedom? Did they have opposition among themselves? The answer is yes. Did they have internal enemy? Yes. Did they let them achieve what they want? Yes. Did they come together? Everybody come together and unite? No. If you come together, now what will be pushing us? Not to know that your opposition is good. You don't like it. Be fighting against it now. Bring, trying to bring down the struggle. Let us be fighting to hold it on. Um, let me leave it here. We are claiming we are fighting okay, for freedom. It's a lie. Wait. The voice is not coming out. Provided that spirit is in you, you are not fighting for any freedom. Now, that's why we are pointing fingers at people. Blindly, without evidence. I want to commend your effort. Um, I want to commend your effort. In restoring what our fathers actually fought for mm -hmm. um but i have some oh, issues with um the way we are trying to go about it and uh, mm. the issues are trying to bring uh, religion into it religion, religion. you know um we have gone a long way and uh, we all understand uh, our history and how we we started Sorry. and actually how our fathers and even the forefathers you know um how they started uh, the race um of uh of turning biafra mm -hmm. so i want to say that um we should leave religion out of base because um problem. i mean the world is more civilized now that everyone should understand what is good and what is not good mm -hmm. so if we want to focus on freedom bringing back biafra then we have to focus on that and forget mm -hmm. about religion because when you are trying to put the two together you are Missing it. going to offend, offend so many people like, who? And, uh, like sorry, when we, uh, sorry, my dear brother, I want to know, like, who? Who do you think will be offended by it? We just want to know. We are no, the, the, the Biafrans themselves, because, uh, you know, you know that what have kept us what have kept to us this point is religion. Um, we can call it religion, as we do call it. And you know that uh, what the Aosas and the, or the so-called Nigerians have done to us, if we had retaliated, maybe... We wouldn't have this kind of knowledge. Even you yourself, you know, what you are doing today, wouldn't have the opportunity to do it. But if, if, not way, for what? if not for what? If not, if not for religion, if not for the Christianity we have, we have known so died. far that brought us together and we have, you know, come to realize that it is not about what we can do. Yes. But it's what about God can help us to achieve. God will help us to achieve. In Christianity, and, uh, you mean? In Christianity, Yes, you mean. Christianity, yes. In Christianity. And uh, I have had so many times when the issue about Jesus was disputed and uh, there were so many people. Are we trying to um, go for another religion or go back to... We know our forefathers did some incredible things, yeah. but also they did some incredible things as well. Things are... Uh, that shouldn't have been done, and which left us behind in the world of uh, education, development, and everything. So we shouldn't be going back to that aspect. So we have to focus on uh, obtaining freedom based on the way the world is, and forget about religion. Then we religion will come after. So with that, I believe that God will help us, God will help. and we should also understand that Jesus is still Lord, whatever we are still doing.
if we want to have a freedom, if we want to get what we want to get, we must understand that we cannot dispute it. Jesus Christ is still the Lord, and we must put Who him told you that he's Lord? Who told you? So say the Bible, and the Bible is the word of God. So everything we are doing, if not based in the Bible, if it's based in the word of God, then forget about it. Have you got the Bible in front of you? I have my, I have my Bible. Go to Exodus chapter 20. No, it, no, 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 hold, you, no, hold on, hold on. You mentioned the Bible. Uh -huh. I yes. want you to use your mouth to read Exodus chapter 20 verse 1. What, 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 you can read it for me. I mm -hmm. understand why. No, 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 it's no, no. where the, it's uh, where the uh, Ten Commandments. Oh, hold on, hold on, please. It's please. where the Ten Commandments is written. My dear brother, you mentioned the Bible. Yes, I did. I not. Did. You mentioned religion, I did not. Yes, and I you did. have posited your own viewpoint, and I respect it. I now respectfully would like you to use your own mouth to please read for us. The world is listening. I can give you time to find your Bible. Exodus chapter 20 verse 1. You mentioned the Bible, not me. Can you please, if you may? How can you, Honor? Are you able to? About the Ten Commandments. No, no. I am. Um, you, you see, uh, it's a very simple request I made. He said Bible is in front of you. When he asked me, are you with Bible? He said yes. Now I did it. What was problem? I mean, they are not here. I mean, they are not freedom now. They are not going to fool. 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 They know feet. They know reach. Who knows the crowd? We've got to hear it now. Oh, we have a crowd in Gobi. Oh, we have a hand out in Yemen. You get me in here, man. In my own. That is why people that know what it involves to fight for freedom, they don't talk too much. When things is not going the way they wanted, they will be inside them, they will be having grudge. But they are piping low because they know that all will be. Those who do, I don't know what it is, they will be shouting, do it, 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 do it. Anybody that is still crying, sit at home now, that person is a coward, no strategy. A just sit at home and wait for freedom. I hope I'm in this life. Oh yeah, pay attention. Bring your Bible, that's no problem. I don't know what it is. I can't read my, I don't have my Bible on hand at the moment. Oh, Jesus, you don't have it. No, he talks about the Ten Commandments, yes. You mentioned the Bible and the other. Do you know what truth is? I know, truth is something when you hear it, you know, it sets you free if you believe in it. It is irreducible. It sets you free. Irreducible. Yes. You don't reduce it to yes. anything else. Now, please, my dear brother, you were the one that uh, said, I'm not disputing the fact is Lord. <laughs> but uh, do you think that is his name? Jesus? Is that his name? Yeah, yeah oh, sure. Everything. Is there, oh, even, even, even as well. Hold on, hold on. If you ask me a question, I answer. I ask yes. you a very simple question. Our people. Do you think Jesus is his name? That is his name. As long as it's what you know, we call upon his name. We call him answer. Jesus. He answers us. So that it doesn't really matter. The, it's like we speak Igbo, but uh, you you can translate it in English. It doesn't really matter. It's still the same thing. It doesn't matter whether you speak it hold in on, English or hold in Igbo. On, hold on, hold on. What is the Igbo meaning or pronunciation of Clinton? What is Clinton in Igbo? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't have to. I don't have to know. But if to if know. I if I if there is something you know that will prompt me to know about the meaning in Igbo, then I will know. You see, my, you see my dear brother, there is something called informed superstition. I didn't tell you. And uh, you, in case you have forgotten, what is your name again, please? Sopji. Is it Sopji Jesus? Well, Jesus is um, Lord. Hold on, Lord. hold on a second. I'm Jesus talking about you, Bambo Sam. <laughs> what is the meaning of Sopruji in English? Is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Well, respect God. I rest my case. And to round it up, to round it up for you so you understand, because I name is Pharaoh. I'll round it up for you so you understand. I will read it, please, if you can pay very close attention to what I have to say. I'm reading from the Gospel. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself any carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, I am jealous. Oh, Tineke, my name is Berek. My dear brother, this English language very, very simple and straightforward. You are talking about the uh, hold, hold on, the please. Hold on. I don't interrupt you when you speak. Don't interrupt me, please. I beg of you. Empty brands. Anything you don't know, you don't know. What you know, you know. Anybody asking us to remove 
when you jump from Biafra, the person doesn't know what he's talking about. I have said it before on Radio Biafra, and I'll give you an example. So you follow it and you understand it very, very well. Do you know that another place where you have something similar to what we are as a people is in Israel? And the Israel, the rabbinical council is the highest court of law in Israel. The supreme rabbinical council. The reason why I'm pointing this out is not because we are going to be some sort of theocracy or some state run by zealots. No. I want you to understand that you have a very special purpose in life as a child of God. I have said this. Your name is Sopruchi. That is your name. Even by the name you have, respect God. If you say respect anything else. Respect God. That is the meaning of your name. And the white man came and told you something. And you can go with him. It's entirely up to you. You are free to do so. I oh, white man did not, we are convinced by the spirit of the living God. We can't. We don't see God. You don't see God. See no one sees him. So it's by conviction. By if you read the book of Hebrews chapter 11. In fact, read chapter 10 and, verse, and chapter 11 as well. You know, uh, the Israelites, and they are not our... They are not our standard. It's the word of God. The Bible is our standard, which is from the beginning. Well, Jesus is so, who? Well, who is Jesus? Where is he from? Je Jesus Christ is Lord. No, 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 hold Jew. on. Where is he from? Where is he from? Can I you? Jesus is a Jew. What is a Jew? Who is a Jew? Jesus is from, well, Jesus is, uh, he, he is from Israel. Ah, that's my case. Thank you very much. So, people should follow. It's a very, very simple matter. Very, very neat and clean. It's not too difficult. Clean your brain inside out. I just cannot tell you that. Not the Buddha or Sona, but tell me your. Oh, my brother, please forget. If you want to worship anything, you can. It's your business. As for me and my household, I worship the Most High God, Chukwa Abiyama. Come close to him, and you know him. The same thing he said to Abraham. If you come close to me, you know me. Our ancestors knew him. And that's yes, our brother um, Chuku Dominic, he says something that I, I, I like. And um, for me, now let me tell you why the man is correct. You know, I don't believe in Bible. I don't believe in Bible. I don't believe in all these things they say, Matthew right, Genesis right. But when you're claiming that you are a Christian, you are not making sense with what you are reading. That is where I am understanding him. That is why I'm replaying it. I'm not playing it because I believe in a... Uh, this one say Jesus said, Ezra also say this one. Uh, 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 Matthew said, I was not there. I don't believe in that nonsense. You know why? Because no one has seen God before. To know whether He's writing to tell us what to do. Who, who is, who? In fact, who God sent that message? Self. On your own hand, they wrote the way they want to control us. But even at that, there's uh, some good things you will find in Bible that people are not even practicing. You are claiming that Bible is what you are using. As a guideline, many of you take it as what you practice every day. You are still not doing what is inside the Bible, where you say never you bow down to any image made by man. Let us believe that, okay, that the Bible is real, uh, is good. Uh, we, we are Christians, we read the Bible. Are you doing what is in the Bible? Are you following it? The answer is no. Can't see what he's asking. The equal look at the guy said, Jesus is Lord. He said, the prayer what? We really share my and our Jesus is Lord. How do we become Christian by Holy Spirit? into the struggle now and they are not saying that the us showed our leader i want you to begin to understand where we are coming from it destroys people it destroys a nation having superstitious belief of one thing or the other against your own fellow brother elohim said he ministered to me when i was dreaming i saw a vision he said the us said the people of biafra will reject the us these are the pro these are the places we're having problem, but many of you don't understand the genesis of the problem. And you are telling me to focus. Where am I focused? I don't. I can't. This is the major reason why we are in disarray, and that is why our own is different from other people that are fighting for freedom. Because other people are not so stupid like that into this thing we call religion. Their own they they they, they go with something that is making sense because of there's no religion to disturb the way they listen. Their mentality is functioning the same, the same. They bring a reason, they, they rationalize it, they debate on it, they bring the one that is good and the one that is not good, they move on. Nothing like, uh, but uh, my brother, where do you say we should match? But uh, the Bible said that uh, uh, Jesus is Lord and uh, uh, Jesus is the Savior. He is our protector. Uh, when, we are when, we are when trouble is in, uh, 
in the front, he's there for us. By the I think it's the Sam, Sam what to do with him. In the front, he's there. He protects me at the back. He's in the front. Then what are you struggling to now? You don't need to fight anybody because Jesus is in the front. He's in the by side. He lying alone everywhere. So what are he's your defender? So that is why many people are now depending on superstitions for us to be free. They cannot even have you ever seen all, the, all these omens uh, shouting sit at home here and there. Say please uh, let us go. Uh, bring um, arms, please, please, arms, arms. They are shouting to defend ourselves. Have you heard it? He's only sitting at home. Sit at home, sit at home. And others that are so moron, cowards, they follow them. Says, I have explained this sit at home. I see one fool here writing sit at home. Again. Sit at home, yes, is good for once in a while. You don't, you, you don't abuse it. Because when you say sit at home, is Mazen and the Kano in prison in, a, in a Anambra? Is he in prison in Imo State? No, I want to know. Is your president from Anambra? The president of Nigeria is he from Anambra? The governors that are we are claiming that they are the real problem, even though we we ourselves is the real problem, because had it been we are not the, the youth. Those governors, where is their resources? Where is their children schooling? When you say sit at home, probably probably when you sit at home, not education is functioning. You you grant everything to zero. Where is their children? Started. Yeah, many of them are abroad. Where is their bank account? Abroad. They are sitting at home. The people that are supporting this struggle, how are they surviving? By all this uh, going around, uh, find one thing or the other to eat. And somebody will ask me, my brother, don't you know it's a price for freedom? Okay, mean um, uh, if they will not eat now, they die. After all, our leader is in detention. If this is at home is something that will bring our leader out, I will, I will say every day. In fact, not even every Monday. Every day, let's sit at home. You are sitting at home. Governor claim they are crying. It doesn't affect even many of these governors. Their houses are in Abuja. Can't you? Don't you know? Many of the senators, many of the House of Representatives, their house is in Abuja. I don't know why. They have a house in Asokoro. They will go and where they are not doing this at home and be doing their normal business. Then the ordinary poor man, poor woman that you know depend on. On nonsense things that have no meaning in our land to go to farm, to sell in a mechama market, to go to a corner, to sell this uh, vegetable or crayfish, to at least survive. You are telling him to sit at home every day. He crazy. You see how to get freedom by sitting at home. I want to understand. Now let's go. Because of this guy now, 